we have this necklace here. Lobster claw clasp extender with a bead. Nice Rollo chain. And beautiful hammered pieces in the ladder design. Very cute. We have this bracelet here with wood beads and little, um, I don't know if those are, I think they're acrylic. Nonetheless, they're very pretty. And there's the back of that little charm. I'm exhausted. Hmm? I said I'm exhausted from untangling. We have these charm pieces here. There's nothing wrong with this. It just came detached from the necklace, which has a copper look. Let's see if I can just beat it through something. Let's do that. Anyway, this is your lobster claw class, copper color, nice Rolo chain, fairly long, and then here's your um, charms. Cute. Mm -hmm. The next is another uh, copperish necklace. It's got a lobster claw clasp. Another Rolo chain. And this time we've got beads. They're acrylic. That's the charms. Next is a cord and wooden necklace in a beautiful red color. Again, if you're if you're an artist, you could paint these discs with something on them. And also, we have these flat these earrings. Not quite the same red, but um, what have I got going on here? Okay, you have some post. The top ones are these are post. There we go. Post and um, French wire. With that. A yeah, I'm a little, just looking at the construction. Of yeah, it. it's different. Those are cool pieces. Here's another neck a bracelet with the Tree of Life charm and some beads. They are acrylic. That's not magnetic. I'll check it real quick. I don't see any markings. And it's copper based. So that's why it's not magnetic. Are you throwing things on the floor again? Yeah, this would be wood. Maybe it won't help any with that one. Here's a pendant. Almost looks like that's uh, silver. But it's not. this little pin it's a little purse little plum colored um, rhinestones here's the back again I don't see any marks that is very pretty Here is a cat's eye in blue pendant on this wire chain. You just put it around your neck. It's very pretty. We have a turtle again. And he's got a little place that can be made a pendant. Very cute. I'm going to do all the pendants here, honey. Okay. I think that's a pendant. It may be a zipper pull. I'm not sure. It's for uh, luggage. Luggage. Suitcase. Suitcase. How do you know? 
American tourist. It looks like a thing on the. Oh. Well, you, can, you can make it for pendant. I mean, yeah, I don't know. Whatever you want We're gonna to do. We're going to put it in with the pendant pile. Okay. This one is. Uh, I don't know if that's clay or if that's malachite. It's cold, very cold. So it's probably a malachite heart. We have this one, which is a butterfly wing. And there's the other butterfly wing, so you could wear it on either side. I don't know if that's uh, silver or not on there. It's very pretty. Mm-hmm. That's rubbing so well. Mm-hmm. Okay, I'm going to test it. Oh, I don't like that. That's cool. I know. <clears throat> two necklaces for one. Yeah, I know. <laughs> two necklaces for one. We'll huh. just charge them twice, right? No. <laughs> oh, God. Sheesh. <laughs> yeah, don't do that to me after all the sun tangling. <laughs> yep, silver. And the other side... Silver, yay, those are silver, that's silver, that's right. a market. I am. Here's a dragonfly. Here's the back, could be a pendant or a charm. We have the three little people. Here's some more charm pieces. Don't ask me what they are. I know one's an angel. And fish. I'm not sure what this one is. Oh, 2008. Just want to do this real quick. No. Okay. We have these pendants, which are very pretty. That one's got a mark in it. Looks like a D. That one's missing stones. Three pendants. This one's going in the hobby lot. The other two are not. I need to check to see if they're silver. Nope. Maybe. Just put them in with the other. Can't tell. What are you doing? We're going to do the bail. Bell frame. That's got a pretty stone in it. It does. That's a beautiful stone. And all the little sparklies around it. Pretty. Yep. No, I don't see anything. The bell is does have. Uh... Let me do it again, honey. Okay. I see it, but it didn't really show up enough. For my satisfaction. Well, <laughs> I just zigged everywhere. That's because it's hard to hold. And I see, I think that's brass. This, the bell. Okay, let me test them again. The bell, 
the frame. That was the veil. No. The frame. No. Now I feel better. Not really, but I mean, I'm glad I rejected it. This little angel pin right here that is surrounded by the silver. The silver is 925. I haven't tested the center for gold. But it looks like it could be gold. But I'm not sure. It could be gold over silver, too. Sparkles are really pretty. <laughs> Yeah, it almost looks like a mystic topaz. No, that's terrible. Me. It's almost too much light. There you go. Oh, there, yeah. Back over. Yeah, there you go. Now you can see the color. It's very pretty stone. You can see blue and purple in it. This is silver. Here's a little heart pin. Tack pin. We have this little butterfly. I'm going to put that in the hobby lot. Have a little owl ring. It's got wear on the stretchy band, but the owl's in good shape. We have this pendant on a Rollo chain, gold, gold tone color. It's got a lobster claw class. The extender's a bit warm. You can see some of the copper coming through the extender. And it's in a knot, but that can be taken out. Lord, do I want to deal with any more knots today. Okay, I've got it back going. Here's the back. I don't see markings on it. Here's a pretty watch. It's a studio quartz watch. Little hearts on the side. It's clamper style. Little rhinestones around the frame in great shape. Almost looks brand new. I have a Christmas pendant, Noel. There's the back. Very cute. So we're going to put it in the Hobby Lot for Christmas. Here's some more cute earrings again with the wooden disc. Very colorful. Your primary colors are blue, yellow, and red, and a secondary color of uh, green. Like Jamaica me crazy colors. Jamaica me crazy? Uh -huh. Very cute earrings. Ooh, this is a locket. Needs cleaning. Might have a little rust in here. I'm not sure. Horse. Here's the back. Very pretty. Love the back. Black background on that. Ring. Aluminum size seven. We have some amethyst stud earrings, very cute. Another ring with a little heart. And it looks like it's got um, 
Oh, whatchamacallit. Not Mar yeah, Marcusite. It's also a seven. See that center stone looks like a Marcusite. <clears throat> the next is a S10 necklace. Here's your extender with the bead. Here's your lobster claw clasp. Here's your beads and your rice looking beads and then the round pebbled looking beads. This is stuck on there. I haven't taken it off. I've got to get that off. Let me get that off real quick. It's not supposed to be on there. The next thing we have is a gunmetal necklace. It's got a, mar a maker's. I'm not sure who that maker is. Lobster claw clasp. Pretty gunmetal curb chain. And pretty pink flowers and some um, rhinestones and Fixed. that textured bead there. Okay. I have another pendant that's a stone wire wrap. I don't know what kind of stone, I guess a quartz or an agate. agate. I don't think it's a rose quartz. Bag it, bag it. Yeah, bag it. This is pretty. It's a... Here's your baker's tag. Lobster claw class with an extender. Nice little dainty chain. Here's the back of the pendant. I don't want to disappoint. And there's the front. Look at that. That's beautiful. The blue stone in there. No, it looks like we're missing stone here. And here and here. Mm -hmm. It's not magnetic. Let's see if it's copper based or silver. Copper based. So I'm going to put this in the hobby lot since it's missing stones. Blue. That's pretty. It is very pretty. Here's a pendant with a, I mean, a pin with a pearl in the center. Here's the underside. Needs cleaning. It's magnetic. Oh, here's a pretty watch, I think. No, this is just a bracelet. Wow, that's pretty. There you go. Black and rhinestones. There's the underside. Enameling on that's beautiful. It's marked. But I don't know what that says. Napier? Hmm. Yep, that says Napier. Well, that's a beauty. It's in excellent condition. Here's another brooch. Looks like a blue heron to me. Here's the underside. It's marked SCSM. It is magnetic, but it's very pretty. Ooh, we have an E and it's broken. I have an E with rhinestones. The pen is broken. I'm keeping it. Put it in one of my pictures. Oh, here's two little tack pins. They're cute as button. 
One of them looks like a Martian to me, but it looks like a pug. Mm -hmm. Isn't that cute? And the other one is Bicentennial. 1776 to 1976. Very cool. Here's the backs. And here's a soccer necklace. And it's got friend on there. Right there, friends. Soccer. Extender with the bead. Here's another cute pen. It's a little fork pen. Butterfly up at the top. Here's the back. It's Mark Sterling. Oh yeah. So this is a sterling fork pan. Here is a ring. Looks like it's pewter. It's not magnetic. I tested it way early today and it is not sterling, so I'm thinking it's pewter. It didn't show up as copper. And it is a size, <coughs> size seven. The next ring is a size five and three quarters. It's a little circle. Oh, it fits. not magnetic but it's silver over copper the next ring is pretty it's a costume ring there's no markings on it <clears throat> it's a size eight and a half Next are some pretty little blue beads. It's not stretchy. And it's not gonna fit over anybody's. I can wear it as a bracelet and that's it. It's not gonna fit over somebody's head. I just rolled it on. Oh yeah, this is pretty cool. I remember this one. This is the multi-strand and multi-metal colors. You have um, gold color, dark metal, brassy colored metal, gun metal, and silver. It is lobster claw clasp. <clears throat> It's not magnetic. Let's do the silver one. It's really not rubbing anything. Of course, it's hard to rub. I think it's going to be silver. This feels very good though and it folds up nicely. Very cute. Let me test it real quick. Just make sure. I think it may be copper based. These off there too. Okay. No, it's not silver. That one was. Of course, we knew that was. Okay.
The next thing we have is a USA pen. Signed, CAJ. It's an artisan piece. Okay, let's just do these one by one. Not. That's an earring. It sure is. Yes. 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 That's an earring, I think, honey. Okay, if you say so. Yeah, it goes on. I don't know. Yeah, put it over there for right now. If I find a match, then it will be an earring. We have this little pen I just found. McClary, A.T. McClary, 92. And is that a sorority type pen? That's what I thought it was. That's what it looks like to me. Okay, these are all um, magnetic. I'm going to put them in the Hobby Lot. This one's got wear on it, but it's got very pretty little rhinestones. The wears on the sides here. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. That's why it's not magnetic. It's copper. Silver over copper. This one's magnetic. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. Here's some nickel-free hoops. Huge. These, this is the smallest pair here, and it's probably two and a half inches. Let me see where it is. Thank you, honey. Uh huh. So I'm the one that hid it from you. It's okay, honey. Yeah, that's a two-inch drop. The largest earring is a three-inch drop. And this other one on the other side that's three hoops put together, it's a two and a half inch drop. So that's a two and a half inch drop, these. These are three inch and these are a two inch. We have some little memory wire choker necklaces with little seed beads and other beads finished off in the back. Another little choker necklace with velvet. Got some wear on it there. Little pearls. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot. I'm going to put that in the Hobby Lot and you'll be able to use those beads. Okay. We have a... Oh, come on. All that American. Oh, come on. American Showcase. Here's your uh, lobster claw class. Very different one. I think this is an older necklace. It's in great shape, though. It's a gold colored. I don't see any wear on it. I mean, as far as dark metal or something coming through. It is. Eighteen inches. Here you go, honey. Thank you, honey. <clears throat> I'm going to stop until I get through the whole thing. I'll go ahead and do these things. Here's some hooks. I think they're shower curtain hooks. But you could take the leaves off and make something else out of them. Use them in a mixed media art. Here's a bow with a little hairpin in it. This is garbage.
said this was. I don't think okay. it's magnetic. I mean, I think it's magnetic. Okay. Give it to yeah, me. Yeah, it is. Yeah, I know it is. Just stop it. Stop it. Okay. We'll be back after I get through the earrings. You don't want to get put